So I tested positive for COVID. Now the question is, what's next? For those of you that don't know, my name is Isaac Legend. I talk about financial literacy, saving money, budgeting, and investing. On this episode, I'm basically going to explain how I caught COVID for the second time, got better, and at the same time, after catching COVID, I can truly say that catching COVID was probably the best thing to ever happen to me, um, and I'm going to tell you why. So stay tuned. If you're watching this for the first time and you haven't subscribed, make sure you like, comment, share, and then mouse that subscribe button. Now you know what time it is. Just play my intro. How do I feel about foreign cars? They're beautiful. They look nice. But investing in real estate is the way to go. So like I was saying, I caught COVID for the second time. The first time that I caught COVID, it was around March, maybe April of 2020. Um, I did good for a year and a half. And then boom, I caught COVID last month. And the number one question that a lot of people ask me is, am I, am I vaccinated? And the answer to that is no. I am not vaccinated. Now that I've caught COVID for the second time, do I plan on getting vaccinated? And my answer is still going to be no. I choose not to get vaccinated because I feel like I feel like my immune system is strong. I have enough antibodies in my body to overcome this virus. I caught it once last year and when I caught it last year they couldn't give me an, a a conclusion on whether I had the virus or not because during that stage there were no there were no there was no way to test to find out if I had the virus or not so I remember going to the doctor and they just told me just go home you got a fever just go home and just it basically told me to treat like a fever and that's what I did and I got better. Now, when I caught COVID this time, it wasn't as bad um, as last year. When I caught when I caught COVID th this time, I had symptoms, and but the symptoms were not bad. So some of the symptoms were um, it all started with an, a headache. So the, so I had my first symptom. My first symptom was a headache. I went into work. When I went into work. I, um, I normally I normally work a 10 hour tour, but after five hours of being at work, I just I just couldn't do it no more. So I ended up going home and took the last five hours. Then the next day, um, I went into the clinic and they told me to take some days off. And then at the same time, before I even um, had that headache that same day I took a COVID test. So my COVID test I that I took was on Thursday. On Friday, the results came in. And then when the results came in, the results were positive for COVID. Once the results came in for positive for COVID, that's when they put me on COVID leave for about 10 days. They said approximately 10 days. But the thing about me catching COVID my sister, my the symptoms that I had lasted more than ten days. My my symptoms lasted approximately like thirteen days. And going back to the symptoms, the first one was the headache. I had a headache, then it went away. I had a fe fever, high fever, that went away. Um, I had aches all over my body, and that actually did not go away. Um, so I had the aches from the beginning, matter, matter of fact, I had it from like day three all the way up to like day 13 stuff. He knows, um, they didn't really have an appetite. I could smell and I could taste. Um, I did lose a little bit of my taste, 
uh, but not that much. And I think I lost a little bit of my smelling, but not that much. But all of those senses that I lost during, well, that was not in, that I kind of lost, I got everything back. So right now, like I'm, I'm able to smell, taste. I have no problem. Now, the sim, and I also had shortness of breath, but the shortness of breath did not come until like later on during like maybe like day number seven. And my appetite, my appetite was not good. Like I ordered um, something online, it got delivered. Once, once it got there, like I was looking forward to eating that food. I took about three bites and that was it. Like I couldn't eat, I couldn't eat it no more. So the last symptom that I forgot about is I was not able to sleep. So what ended up happening is I went about like seven days without sleeping. And on day number two, when I noticed I wasn't sleeping, I went to the uh, pharmacy and I got me uh, a bottle of NyQuil and a bottle of DayQuil. Once I got that bottle of NyQuil and DayQuil, I said to myself, yeah, I'm going to finally get some sleep. So I took a, I took a, I took two gulps of the Nyquil. Once I took those two gulps of Nyquil, I was I was excited. I went to bed thinking I was gonna get eight hours of sleep. Meanwhile, I got an hour of sleep, and then I woke up. So that's how bad my sleeping was, and. Uh, what ended up happening is this, right? So I was I was consuming so I was consuming a lot of water, tea, orange juice, a lot of liquids. And then on top of that, my mom, she made me this remedy that consists of onions, garlic, Lemon, no lime skin, um, lime juice, cinnamon stick, and and but you basically mix it up. And when you mix it up, I'm not gonna lie, it's like it's one of the nastiest things I ever had. Like I, the first time I had it, I had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then day two. I had some again. I only had it twice, so I had it for like breakfast and dinner. And then coming and then once I got to like day three, um, I just I just had it once because I, I just I could I couldn't stand the taste. It was just horrible. And and that was my life. And and what made it worse is three days prior to catching COVID and being on quarantine. My Wi-Fi in my house stopped working. So that means no television, no movies, no TV shows, no YouTube. I was only restricted to what I could watch on my phone. It sucked, but it is what it is. But at the, like I said in the beginning of the video, catching COVID the second time was the best thing to ever happen to me. Now, now, um, now I had body aches, right? So I got tired real quick. When I got tired real quick, um, this is this is a scenario, right? I'll be in bed, I'll get up, I'll go to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I'll take my toothbrush, I'll take toothpaste, put it in the toothbrush, start, and then when it when it's time for me to brush my teeth, I don't have enough energy because my body's tired and I can't brush my teeth. So sometimes I will sit in the toilet and I will brush my teeth and uh, and that's what I did. And then there's other times where I was so tired I couldn't even sit in the toilet. I had to go back to my room, lay down in the bed, and I was brushing my teeth while I was laying in bed. That's how bad it was. So... For the most part, I dealt I dealt with it for the most part, and I think I did a good job. One of the most 
annoying symptom was a shortness of breath. So for what the whole 13 days, I, w- I was breathing normally. Well, not normally, but I was somewhat normal. I was I wasn't I didn't have to think to breathe like I didn't have to adjust anything to to breathe. So I think that's normal enough right there. But like one thing I noticed is that like once I had like shortness of breath, I felt like my 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 lungs were only u- utilizing uh maybe like 10, maybe 15 percent of of the area that's in my lungs. That's why it felt like I had a shortness of breath. At least that's what that's what I think. And to add on to that, whenever I had the shortness of breath, like I I mastered like how I was getting the shortness of breath. I mastered what to do when I had a shortness of breath. And I'm not gonna lie, like there were times where it felt like I needed to go to the hospital. But, like, I just started adjusting certain things. Um, I adjusted my positioning. And and it, and it got better. It got better. But, like, there were times where I was, like, this close. This close to going to the hospital, call, calling 911 and having an ambulance come pick me up. But, like I said, like, I, I managed to find an, a hack that works for me. Not sure if it'll work for you, but that's what I did. So, with the shortness of breath, what tr- what triggered the shortness of breath is, let's say, like, I'll be laying in my bed like this, and then I'm breathing normally, and then I'll turn to the side while I'm trying to sleep or just laying down. That would trigger the shortness of breath. And then once the shortness of breath is triggered i would have to breathe like this sounds annoying right yes it is another thing that triggers the shortness of breath is if i'm laying down in bed and like i do a rapid movement where i stand up that's gonna cause the shortness of breath to get reactivated and that was, I think, the most annoying symptom that I had throughout the whole time because it felt like at any given moment I was going to lose my life. And, you know, when you when you feel like you're going to lose your life, that's not a that's not a good feeling. And um, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. So, you know, I've, I've been, you know, sharing the negatives and you know what I've gone through which is not pleasant but one thing I can say about catching COVID this time is that it opened up my eyes like it opened up like it gave me an opportunity to do a life um, re-evaluation did I say that right I don't know it gave me an opportunity to evaluate life that's what i'm trying to say yeah it gave me an opportunity to reevaluate life and just like figuring figuring out like what's important to me and one thing that that came to mind is you know i realized that i'm blessed i'm in a position where i can help a lot of people like for instance an example, my mom's birthday was a couple of weeks ago while I had COVID. And one of the things that we did is uh, I called my brothers and I, I told them, look, mom's birthday is coming up. She has about six more payments. If we get together, she owes 3000 If we get together um, and we put $710, like we can pay off her car note and she won't have a car note anymore. And I think that would be a, a pretty cool um, birthday gift. So... I got my I got a brother named David, Paul, Joel. We all got together, um, put some money together, and, and we and we paid off my mom's car note. And and uh, one thing I learned is that you know when you when you do for others, like seeing somebody smile or 
putting a smile on somebody's face should be all the pleasure that you should you should want you know you shouldn't want anything else shouldn't want a reward a gift or nothing like just just the fact that you help somebody and you, and you put a smile on somebody's face is more than enough so when when we did that for for my mom like my mom like she started crying and when she started crying like i, I asked her like what happened like what's wrong is everything okay like and she says, yes, my son, everything is fine. Thank you. And then I said, mom, like, you, you took care of me. You raised me. You, you brought me up. Like, you deserve way more than that. So let's get back to the, um, to me catching COVID. And uh, I'm going to say that it is, like, it is the best thing to ever happen to me. While I caught COVID, during the ending stages, I also got the opportunity to purchase um, my second home. This right here where I'm recording is my first home. And I got the opportunity to purchase my second home, which is the block and a half where I could literally just walk over there. Or I could ride this bad boy right here. I mean, the bike. I could ride the bike over there. And I purchased this home. And... When I purchased this home, I didn't purchase this home by myself. I purchased this home with my brothers. Um, like I said, my three other brothers, Joe, um, David, Paul, and Joel. And the main reason why I decided to do this is because, like, I believe in, I be, like, like, I could probably put myself in a position to have 20 homes. But 20 homes, me having 20 homes is cool. But me having 20 homes with my with my brothers, that means way more to me than having 20 homes on my own. Meanwhile, me having 20 homes on my own basically means that I got a bigger overhead. But when I'm renting those properties, I make more profit. I could be making more profit, but it's not about the money. It's about the relationship. It's about bringing people together. It's about just making a change um so my property that i have is not just mine but it belongs to me and my three other brothers and i spoke to them and you know we're talking and, and i'm telling them look every six months we, we could do this every six months so just think about it if you purchase a property every six months in 10 in 10 years you're owning about 20 properties and that means way more to me than to just have a property on my own. Like, I believe in building wealth. But when you can build wealth together, it means way more than just me building wealth. So, stay tuned to that. I'm going to have a YouTube video coming up. And the property, like I said, is ready to go. I, I got to fix something with the kitchen sink. Cause it has a slow, a slow drainage, drainage. Yeah, that's how, that's how you say it. Drainage. So it has a slow drainage. I have to fix that, and I got to paint. I got to do a fresh new paint job. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna get my cousin Damo to help me with the French, with the fresh paint job, and uh, that's basically it. Um. But um, you know, having COVID. I, has been amazing. I've I've done a lot during COVID, um, but I think the number one thing that that I'm very appreciative when it comes to catching COVID is the fact that ca catching COVID, being in that room for 15, 20 hours, and no Wi-Fi, just my phone, it gave me the opportunity to do some self evaluation. Like I said earlier. And when I did that, I really figured out like who I was, um, who I was before, who I am now, and I know where I want to go or who I want or who is it that I want to be. And the person that I want to be is a person that like uplifts people, brings people together. Um, you know, you know, we 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 talk about. We talk about before before I say that, like I'ma just say that 
that catching COVID may like opened up my my mind to a a bigger horizon and this horizon is you shouldn't worry about what people think as long as you're not bringing people down as long as you're not insulting anybody you shouldn't worry about what people think you should you should only be focused on your purpose your why and 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 then just helping people that's it like just helping people like after catching covid like i made i made so many relationships like i i made so many connections so many relationships it's not even funny like 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 when you're genuine like my like for example my brother like he he um he makes motivational videos his name is Marty Mar he just dropped the video literally like today. So by the time this video is uploaded, which probably is going to be tomorrow, you know, it's going to be one day old. But this video basically speaks about what I've been talking about for the past, for the past like two weeks. Like after catching COVID, like I came to the realization that you shouldn't wait for someone to pass away to 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 express how you feel like don't like don't wait until I'm dead and I'm I'm in a box to be like oh he's he was a very nice guy always smiling very creative always try to bring people to like don't 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 do that like like tell me tell me now when I'm alive like tell me now like that's why like Marty Ma like I I respect that video I I really do and uh just to move on from that I uh, I'm going to say that I'm going to reiterate and say COVID was the best thing to ever happen to me like I'm I'm glad I caught COVID it gave me uh an opportunity to do some self reevaluation and when I did that I found one like I I found out what my favorite word is my favorite it's a lot of words they are powerful. There, there's a lot of words that are important, but I find out what my favorite word is, and that is purpose. Like purpose, like finding out what's your purpose. Cause my mantra is like, once you find out what your purpose is, everything else starts to make sense. You start, you start moving different. You start socializing with certain people you start building certain relationships you spend your money a little bit wisely um purpose man like once you know your purpose everything else will make sense and and yeah there's a there's a lot of more powerful words out there like let me see if i can think of a, a few um loyalty um honor being humble, being selfless, these these are, are beautiful words. But I feel like once you know your purpose, like anything anything is possible. Um, so COVID has enlightened me to basically just just help people. That's it. Like you know, I f I feel like if every person had that same mentality, like. I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to see who I can help. Like, <laughs> like the crime rate would be like so low. Like, it would be no crime, basically. Like, <laughs> it would be no need for police. Like, less stabbing, maybe no stabbing, no shootings. Like, it'll be, it'll be a pleasant world to live in. Like, real pleasant. But, unfortunately, like, not everyone is gonna think that way, and it's cool, cause I'm all about, I'm all about aura, I'm all about vibrations, and if I come encounter with you, I'm gonna speak to you. I'm gonna say hi. I'm gonna say, um, hey, I love that hat. You know, those shoes are tough. Like, uh, you know, like, I'm a, I'm a just, I'm, I'm just gonna embrace people. If I see something I like, I'm gonna speak on it. 
that's that's just it but like i said after day 13 i got better went to the clinic i tested negative for covid and and that was it man like that was it now like i'm living a life of purpose helping people um seeing if i could put a smile on their face and that's it um that's it just purpose so if you know you watch this video hopefully you got something from it um let me see um let me see i got a list of questions let me go over it to see if i forgot anything so somebody said how did i entertain myself while i had covid um like i said i had my phone so it gave me the opportunity to go online, YouTube, browse the internet. Let's see, another question is, what are ways to boost your immune system during that time? Um, I really don't know the answer to that because I just don't know. But like I said, I did a lot of orange juice, drank a lot of ginger tea, uh, water. And I and I wasn't I wasn't eating so towards the end of me having COVID I th I don't know how much pounds I lost but I I probably lost about eight maybe ten pounds. Another question another question that somebody sent me was who gave me COVID? <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'll ever find out who gave me COVID and the reason for that is uh, the job that I do. I come encounter I encounter a lot of people on a daily basis and for me to find out who gave me COVID would, would just be impossible. So I can't answer that question. So I'm gonna wrap this up by saying the last question is when am I going back to work? Well, I was supposed to go back to work last week, uh was it last week? Thursday night I work midnight so last week Thursday night last week Thursday night I was supposed to go back to work and what ended up happening is yeah I was ready physically but mentally I was not there yet um, before catching COVID a month prior well a month and a half prior I broke up with my me and my ex decided that we're not going to be together anymore and I just got out of that relationship. So getting out of that relationship and then catching COVID, um, it wasn't a good combination. So like I said, even though my body was ready to go back to work, mentally I wasn't ready. So I needed time to heal from that relationship. I needed time to clear to clear some things about that relationship. And... and uh, Let's let's just say that the day that I will be returning back to work will be this week, Wednesday. I'll be back at work. And another thing that was was messing me up mentally and couldn't go back to work is the fact that I needed to get back to my routine of doing things. My routines is waking up, making a smoothie, uh, going to the gym coming back home cooking and then going about my day I need to get to that routine before and then I also needed to get to the routine of being able to go to work at nine and then staying up until seven because my sleeping schedule was all messed up but I've been working on it and by Wednesday I should be more than ready to go back to work and that's basically it man like I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully something that I said helped you. Um, you could always drop a comment below. I'm always curious to know what you think. Uh, did you did you catch COVID? Um, were you close to catching COVID? Was there a time that you thought you had COVID and it wasn't COVID? Like, please drop a comment below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. So you don't miss any future episode. Once again, I'm Isaac Legend and I talk about finance. Thank you.
about foreign cars? They're beautiful. They look nice. But investing in real estate is the way to go.